actually made a virtual lunch date with someone and our times got screwed up because he's in London. And anyway, maybe you won't mind if I just talk with him quickly now because I love him and I've been looking forward to this moment for a while. I think you might know him if you live on planet Earth. He was in some movies like Devil Wears Prada and The Hunger Games, many movies. Um, and his new book is called Taste My Life Through Food. Stanley, are you there? <laughs> art project is happening behind you. I'm into whatever is behind you. What is that? I'm sitting in my in my uh, studio where I paint and and write and things and this is uh this is this is this is part of what happens in my mind. <laughs> I know that you recently <laughs> underwent successful treatment for cancer. So th God bless and how are you feeling? Thank you so much. Thank you. Yes, I feel uh, I feel great. I, I was very lucky. The uh, cancer I had was a very specific uh, kind, and I had incredible doctors uh, out at Mount Sinai in, in New York, and, um, and the, the prognosis is great. Well, as a Thank super you. fan, I'm so happy to hear that, man. You're such a talent. I love everything you do. So thank you for keeping our lunch date. Um, so what are we having today? Because this looks delicious. Uh, spaghetti, alla zucchini, okay. alla nerano. Oh. So it's basically the simplest thing in the world. It's spaghetti with uh, sautéed or sort of fried zucchini. Love it. Uh, and uh, parmigiana, and okay. it's a it's a specialty of from a uh, uh, from the Amalfi Coast, and it is. One of the most delicious things I've ever had. Okay, well, I am pairing it with a glass of GoldenEye Anderson Valley oh. Pinot Noir. The go-to wine of the Kelly Clarkson show. That is a great choice. I think a Pinot Noir is a perfect choice for I, that. I think Pinot Noir is a perfect choice all the time. Okay. <laughs> so I'll just have a taste of that. I don't know how to eat spaghetti yeah. properly. I cut it with a fork and a knife. Every Italian hates me across the world, but whatever. Okay. Oh, my God. Actually... Oh, That's yeah. really good. So simple. It's like four ingredients. Oh my gosh. So if we could have those sent up to my room for lunch, um, that's where I want that. <laughs> yep. That's really good, man. True. Yeah. Speaking of cooking, is it true that you actually yeah. cooked with Meryl Streep in her apartment while making Julia and Julia? Uh, we did. Uh, we, um, we cooked together when we were about to start the, the film. I asked her if... Um, we could cook together. We had both f finished shooting films prior. And uh, I knew she was busy and tired. But I said, not to be too method-y, but could we just cook together? And we did. And we had a great time. We cooked one of Julia's recipes. We, we cooked a Blanquette de Veau, which is a, a sort of creamy veal dish. And it ended up being delicious. However, it was we were too slow. And our, we thought we were going to serve dinner at Eight, we served it at 10. <laughs> this is my problem with cooking, okay? I can actually cook, but it takes me like three hours to do it. It takes someone like 30 minutes to 45 minutes. I'm so slow because I get nervous and I triple check everything. But that's like quite a recipe yeah. to like be like, let's our first time cooking together. You just jumped right into like a really hard recipe. <laughs> that's yeah, amazing. Yeah, we did. And <laughs> she, she had made a tart tatin based on um, a Julia's recipe that was actually delicious. Wow. Um, well, it seemed that you became even more famous, if that's possible, um, for making a drink during lockdown. So, so what happened? Oh, yes. Oh, there I am. That's terrifying. I, I made it's a, not terrifying. A it's sexy. Yes. Is making it? a drink and all that black. Get it. Get it, Stanley. <laughs> okay. uh, well, thank you. I, I don't know how to respond. <laughs> Um, uh, yes, my, my wife, Felicity, uh, asked me, she said, would you make a drink for Curtis Brown, which is the agency she worked, oh, there she is. Yeah. Uh, she said, will you make a, a drink for the agency, just a sort of in-house thing, just to cheer people up during the first lockdown? And I did, and then she said, oh, well, let's put it on the Instagram, you know, which at the time had seven followers. And, <laughs> um, 
it has it's taken over my life, and I'm glad of it. I l it looked like a good drink. That's why. Um, well, tell us about your new book. It's called Taste My Life Through Fo Food. I can't talk today. <laughs> no, that's okay. Well, it's, you know, Pinot Noir. <laughs> I, I, here, here. I, uh, yes, so I, I wrote this book during lockdown. I had written a, a cookbook before with Felicity and, and helped sort of uh, curate one that my parents had done many years ago. Um, but this is, this is sort of literally what the title is, which is My Life Through Food, because I realized that at, at now at the age of 60 that my that everything that I seem to take in, I take in either visually or through my mouth. <laughs> and I experience the world almost mostly through my mouth, which sounds gross. It sounds like but, a really but, naughty but, novel. <laughs> yeah, I know. But, it, but, it's, really, but it's, it's about that food is connected to every single um, uh, uh, part, of, part of my life. It all revolves around the most important aspect. Almost is wh what I eat, and 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 how I share that with people. Hey, that's my favorite part is how you share it. That's what I love about a dinner. Everybody getting together, and it's always around food. Whether it's like a lunch thing or a dinner party, I love. That's my favorite thing is the mingling and all the people. So that's I love food yeah. as well. <laughs> it's the best way to make friends, and it's the best way. It's the best way to. Uh, to find a, a common ground, I think. Amen. Especially if it's great food. Um, well, this was delicious, and I, no joke, will be eating it for lunch. Thank you. It was great to see you. I love your art studio. Take care, and thanks for the zucchini pie.